Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm going to do a little vlog today of my night trying to finish a bunch of crochet projects, but I want to start off with a little fun haul. I ran out of a color for one of my projects, so I had to buy more yarn, unfortunately. So it was the Cascade Yarns 220 Superwash Merino yarn. And I showed this in my last video, but I'm making this puffy sleeve top. And I ran out of yarn, so I have to make the other sleeve and I'll be done. So I'm so excited and hopefully if it looks good, I will try it on for you guys. So because I was buying this online, I had to reach a certain threshold to get free shipping. So I got some more yarn. Um, I'm going to make a scarf with this. It's the Lion brand date night yarn. It's very sparkly and I've never really worked with sparkles so I thought this would be a nice neutral sparkle look. And I'm so excited to rock this outside. Then I got this one pound Karen lilac shade and I love this color. I'm going to make a cardigan or a sweater. I think a cardigan in this color, it's gonna look so cute. I will try to do a tutorial if I figure out how to do it myself, cause I'm not sure. For the star of the show, I'm so excited to finally get these in. They're more of the Clover soft touch uh, crochet hook. So I got it in 3.75, four millimeters and five millimeters. Wow, this is gonna change the game for me. My thumbs are no longer gonna hurt from using those metal hooks because I do have a couple of other sizes, but when I don't have the size I need in this hook, then, you know, I get a lot of thumb pains and you guys know by now I crochet a lot. So this is a very good investment for me. So yeah, that's all for the haul. And now we're just going to get into some projects. So the first one is a unicorn order and I showed this in the last video as well but I finished all of the little pieces and I'm ready to sew together which is actually my least favorite part. So I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. So here are all the parts. I'm gonna be threading it through a darning needle and just sewing it all together. This part is always tricky because I always seem to mess up, but this time I was actually lucky and I didn't have to redo it and it actually stayed in the right place and I'm very happy with the placement of all the legs and the limbs. I mentioned in one of my earlier videos that I don't like crocheting the limbs, but I realized I really just don't like sewing them onto the body because there's so much room for error. Finally conquered the limbs. I'm moving on to the horn. I'm just stuffing it in and then I'm going to be placing it right on top of the head like a little bit above between the eyes and I'm very lucky that this turned out okay too and I didn't have to redo it.
that box of yarn. We love that. Okay. So I kind of just want to go back on face-to-face, -face, not voiceover, because I want to bring you some news. So my friend and I are actually developing a short film. It's really exciting. I am really excited to work with her on this. I'm currently in film school and I want to be a filmmaker. Well, technically, I guess I'm already a filmmaker because I've made films before. Uh, but that is my passion, the storytelling aspect, something I want to do as a career. And my friend recently discovered that that's the path she wants to go down as well. So I'm really excited to be working with her on this new project. And it's basically going to be like shedding light on the experience of, you know, Asians in... Well, for us, we're Canadian, but I guess it could also be in America as well because our I think our experiences are kind of similar in that way because they're both pretty western cultures and it's really we just started developing it yesterday so we would love to hear your experiences if you're south east asian or because that's probably what the um character is going to be based off of we'd love it if you guys are comfortable sharing your experiences I will leave a link to a form in the description box, so make sure you guys go check it out. Yeah, this is a really important film for us to make because growing up, like, we didn't really see a lot of characters that resembled our experience or resembled what we looked like. And I'm hoping because now I do have this platform and I have people who will hopefully listen that I can actually make a difference, especially in the film industry because... So many people are like, influenced by that and it reaches so many people's eyes and I think it's a very, you know, powerful platform to have to reach a wider audience. So I think making this film will resonate with a lot of people who have gone through the same thing. I'm just hoping to give a voice to people who, who don't necessarily feel like they do have a voice, especially as they were growing up. So if you have any experiences you want to share with us, it would mean so much to us. I just think it's going to be a very exciting project for us. Yeah, the reason why I want to be a filmmaker is to tell stories and stories that are personal and important to me and kind of sheds light on different experiences and helps people understand other people's experiences better. But while I was talking, I added two of the hairs on. And yeah, I'm going to be adding on the rest, but I will show you the final product of what this is supposed to look like. If you guys have been watching till now, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to check the form below. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!